Hello everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, and good evening. Also, good morning wherever you are watching from, depending on your time, wherever you are seeing me from. It's me, Tracy Dele, at Tracy Dele's Kitchen for Fun. Yes, it's been a while, my people. Today, I want to quickly prepare um, beans, potage beans. So, and I'm using uh, the iron beans, the black eye iron beans. I have boiled the beans. I've boiled it even up to 75% um, cooked. And um, let me show you around uh, the whole ingredients I want to be using to sort out this uh, iron beans pottage today. Here is my beans already boiled up to 75% cooked. It's cooked already. Yeah, like I said, 75% cooked. So I have my beans here already prepared. Here I have my red oil. Here I have my chopped habanero pepper. I have my chopped onions. Here I have my gizzard already chopped into little, little sizes. And I have my more crayfish already pre-boiled i boiled it together with my with the gizzard with salt and some um seasoning and here i have my green plantain already pre-boiled i've already boiled this plantain up to 50 percent boiled so and here i have my salt to taste and here i have my blended crayfish this um beans i'm preparing today is really going to be rich in iron so if you are the type that like to eat iron food don't forget that the white beans with black eyes is the best beans to eat when you are lack of iron and you needed iron you need to supply iron to your body so today i am preparing this so come along and let's get started here is my pot already placed so first thing i'm doing i will be adding my red palm oil into the heated pot as you can see i'm adding my red oil it's potage beans so i have to add use red oil as you see you are not to bleach the oil that much yes you don't need to bleach the oil that much so as i heat the oil a bit it's not good to heat the oil because like i said it's potage beans whether you call it porridge anyhow you know it's porridge beans and um i will be adding immediately my chopped onions together with my habanero pepper as you can see i've added my onion you just have to leave it to cook for like one minute so the onion have cooked for like one minute now so i want to be adding my hot pepper habanero pepper i'm not adding everything let me just reserve little so i added the pepper then i'll stir and leave it to cook for like another one minute again as you can see all right my people the onion and the pepper have cooked for another one minute so right away i want to be adding my gizzard as you can see the chopped gizzard so i'm adding it i've added the gizzard then i'll have to give it a stir pardon me my light is not that bright i don't know so i have to stir give it a stir and leave it to cook for another one minute okay then i'll leave it to cook for another one minute as you see um so all right my people it has cooked for like another one minute now i give it a stir so right away i want to add my more crayfish as you can see i have deboned the more crayfish i deboned it i removed the head side and the bones from in the middle so i have to add my more crayfish now so as you see now i have added my more crayfish i have to give it a stir i've added the more crayfish. that is the bone i i removed from it the bone and the head parts you know it's because of his beans so i have to just remove this head uh -huh. it's a bar no sha if you know how to eat fish so now i have to give it a stir 
while you are cooking your beans beans is good to cook with you have to um spice your your beans only with salt just little salt if you are the type that don't eat much salt and beans like i know does not need much salt as you can see that is my mock crayfish dancing in the middle of the whole sauce so immediately after the mock crayfish i want to be adding my iron plantain this is green plantain i have pre-boiled it like 50 percent boiled so i want to be adding the plantain that is it i added the plantain then i'll give it a stir after stirring the plantain together with the whole sauce i just have to add little salt to taste little to, uh, salt to taste because i have to be careful with the salt because i boiled the beans formally with salt also i boiled the beans formally with salt mm -hmm. so i just have to give it a stir and cover it to cook let me add little water to it that is the water i used to pre-boil the fish so i just add little water to the sauce then i'll cover it to cook a bit it will cook for like two minutes before i'll come and add the beans so if you want to prepare your iron food just follow up with step by step on how i prepare this my my beans pottage and the green plantain to supply you more iron okay like they said that health is wealth so i will leave it to cook for like two to three minutes before i'll come and add the beans to eat so let's check on it now yo so it has cooked for two minutes now so i give it a stir i just give it a stir that is this the gizzard more crayfish and the green plantain so right away i will be adding my blended crayfish as you all know me i am so generous with crayfish i don't mess it for my crayfish okay as you see i am a generous crayfish user <laughs> so i'm adding another full spoon of crayfish then i'll give it a stir after which i've stirred it i will now add my beans my iron beans that i've already cooked up to 75 percent so I will, I will be adding the beans to the sauce now as you see i have added the beans then i will have to stir it i will have to stir it thoroughly i will stir it very well i will stir it very well stir it very well after it has cooked for after stirring it i cover it to cook for like three minutes so let's check on it that is it i will have to give it a stir now again that is my beans as you can see my light is a bit dull just bear with me so you stir and then you leave it to cook to your taste so my people that is our beans iron beans in the green plantain as you can see that is our beans so i will cover it on a low heat and leave it to cook for another two minutes so i'm covering it now to cook All right, my people, it has cooked for another two minutes. So let's check on it. As you can see, it's on a very low heat. If you are cooking your beans, you are preparing your beans, you don't need to put your beans in a high heat. It has to be on a low heat. Okay. So I, I think I am done today about cooking of our iron beans in our green plantain to supply us 
iron all right my people i think i have to call it a beautiful day today i love you all i love you all bye bye love you all my people bye bye yes some people they don't know how to cook beans really they will be thinking how did they cook beans safe how they could prepare these beans in this situation just follow my step by step on how i prepare these beans then you will achieve yours okay guys love you all bye 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 my light is dull but pardon me you have a lovely day